Welcome back to a crash course in circuit theory. In the previous videos, two videos, we talked about uh, the digital control element, which was the switch, and the analog control element, which consisted of the potentiometer. And we said that the potentiometer can have a minimum resistance. And that minimum resistance will give you a maximum current through the lamp and then you can have a maximum resistance which gives you a minimum current through the lamp and we were able to demonstrate that by using the Ohm's law formula and how the resistance has control over the current in the circuit. Now I want to show you the various options that you have with these two wonderful control elements as I move to the next slide. What I have done is I have removed the power source because once again, we do not need to draw the power source on a systems diagram. We only need to indicate the rail voltage and the ground rail voltage. And we just need to label the value of the power supply for the rail and that will apply to any circuit that is connected to this rail. Right now we have one series circuit connected to the rail which consists of our four elements and those four elements of course are grouped into two categories these first two are your control elements and the second two are your load elements and we said we added a resistor with this lamp because this lamp may only be a six volt lamp and if it's a 6 volt lamp, we cannot connect this lamp to a 12 volt rail or it will become damaged. So we need the other resistor to bring the voltage down to the 6 volts that's required for the lamp. Now, typically a user will not see a circuit diagram or even the components. What they will have available to them is an on off switch and that corresponds to our R switch component over here. And they would probably have a control knob that allows you to set the position, which will then control the amount of light they would need. Again, if it's in the minimum, then you will probably get a high resistance, give you minimum resistance, minimum lamp current, and Minimal resistance will give you maximum lamp current. Now let's talk about the different options that you have with regards to operating your lamp. In order to do this, I have to explain to you that we have to add another element within our observation, and that other element is time. Now, what are we going to be using to analyze the output of this circuit? Well, usually we measure a voltage and we track that voltage on a voltage versus time graph. And that gives us a visual display of how the circuit operates. So we're going to track some of these voltages. Now the two voltages that we need to track is this voltage right here. Because this is the voltage that comes directly after this switch. And this voltage we know is a digital voltage because we explained earlier that the only options is on and off. Now we need to track the voltage drop across the lamp. But the voltage drop across the lamp directly follows a fixed voltage across this R series resistor, which means that the voltage drop across the lamp really follows the voltage drop after the potentiometer. So whatever shape that we get for V out O4 will be the same as V out O3, which corresponds to the output across the potentiometer. 
So we will use V out O2 and V out O4 as our operation or observation voltages. Since, since we've included an element of time within our analysis, we have an infinite possibility for controlling the lamp. We can start off with something simple. Uh, the most simplest graph that I can create to represent V out would be to leave the lamp off turn the lamp on, wait for a specified amount of time, and then turn the lamp off. As you can see, this is a digital shape. And this output here at V out O2 would basically be the same as V out O4. It may be at different levels, but the shape will still be the same. Why? because we're using a digital component to control this output. As long as we use this component, then the output will be at one level, and then once the switch is closed, it will shift to another level and continue until you shift off and it will go back to the low level. That's the nature of a switch. A switch is digital by nature, there's no other options here. And of course, we would manually use this component to switch between the on and the off positions, the switch. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to use the control knob for the analog potentiometer.